You do get pushed in this lane. I'm just gonna war this. Guns and oranges. Gonna auto. Auto. Words mean nothing. Ooh, okay. Okay, Atrox. He's feeling himself right now. I respect that, actually, from my Atrox. Typically, you want to get pushed, but as you can see right now, he's getting pushed on me. Their kidneys out. We do end up hitting level 2. We're going to keep continue autoing the wave. And we're trying to recall in the third wave, if possible. Or the fourth wave. Both work. A slit throat is we're cautious about his level 2. We're gonna recall in the fourth wave is what it's looking like right now. Yeah, that's what it's looking like. We're gonna recall in the fourth wave. This will allow us to buy our items. Not the greatest uh, scenario that we wanted there. We wanted to be able to recall. But because of our mistake, we're not going to be able to reset. So instead, what we're just going to do is we're going to stay in lane until we have enough gold for Sheen. And we're going to walk back just a little bit and respect the Zyra jungle. She clears extremely, extremely fast. So we don't want to ego on her. We're going to walk back and we're just going to play lane until we get Sheen. Looks like Zyra's bot lane. That's what we're going to do because of the mistake that we made. Ship, but not where we weren't able to crash because we uh, placed our barrel in an awkward position, I'd say. We're still farming. We're still chilling. I would say our biggest spike is going to be Sheen and Boots. That's what we want. Sheen, Boots. That's the goal. I look like a patient man. Yeah, it's looking very probable that we're gonna get Sheen. I'm not too sure about the boot stuff. Normally, if you were able to get the recall off, you'd be able to reset for either for, for boots and a potion, boots and refillable, or glowing moat and boots, or longsword refillable. Those are all very viable options. Everyone pays. I get boots off of this wave. An ally has been slain. Perfect. And now we're going to recall TP back. Could I probably shove this in under Aatrox's tower? I actually think so, yeah. In fact, I would say it's a little bit of a mistake that I didn't do that. Because I'm full on all of my resources and I have biscuits. So I should have attempted it. And if I die, then it's really not a big deal because I can just TP back. So honestly, it's a small mistake on my part. I am reborn of salt and bride. Gonna make sure the wave crashes. And he already dashed away, so we're just gonna queue him for free right here. We're gonna do the same thing in a moment. Okay, he kinda owned me, and my spacing was a bit terrible. I'll burn it all down if I can't have it. Everyone pays. It was a good W by him. We're looking bot lane, we're looking bot lane, seeing if there's anything that we need to ult. We're respecting the Zyra jungle still. Stings like salt on a wound. We're actually gonna back up a little bit. I got a little distracted IRL, but or and I'm gonna back up. One slash. 
I can't say for sure that Aatrox took a reset, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to queue this minion, drag the wave just a little bit down. Honestly, this is a good example of what not to do as Gangplank versus Aatrox. Like, despite me being up in farm, I could really be pursuing a way bigger lead. But why? Okay. This is this is my problem, right? This guy typed, yo, come mid lane or I ult at four. <laughs> he said come mid or I ult at four, but then he's also just trolling Zach. So nasty, this player. This guy right here. I'll hack my way back to Fieldwater. Since we bought boots, we do have our Jack of Trade stacks. So right now we have two and a half long swords because it's ten adaptive force. We're gonna ward this bush. Keep a weather eye out. I'll take back what's mine. We're gonna try and predict his Q right there. No, he doesn't go for it. Go for a Q one. Playing against Aatrox is a lot of it's a lot of predictions that you're doing when you pl when you're playing against Aatrox. So far, Zach's got all three grubs in addition to he's got all three grubs in addition to Dragon, which is really good. That's what you want to see. Perfect. Take my time with Perfect. <laughs> Everyone pays. Never to build right. We're bully we're doing a very good job at bullying Aatrox. We want to make sure that he can't play the game, so we're actually going to pull this wave and then freeze it. Freeze it on the Aatrox. Actually, is this even worth it? Yeah, I think it's worth it. And then we'll just stay in lane. Mercy farming from afar. With my ship. Oh, it was actually smart that I didn't crash the wave. I'll just flash early. I already got his ult out. Honestly, I think I probably could have just oranged it, and then I would have been chilling, but eh, it's fine. It's fine. Cruelty for all. Freeze it on his side of the lane? No, brother. What I did is a slow push. See, I bring it towards... Uh, oh, I don't know if I said that. Maybe I misspoken. That's why you're saying that. But it, it, if what you're saying is like a genuine uh, question or... If what you're saying is a genuine statement, uh, no. What I did there causes the wave to slow push towards me. I rarely forget and never forgive. Really good GPL that we had for our team there. And now I'm going to go here, collect the honey fruit, maybe get some gold, and we can have our Trinity Force completed. So just like that, we're winning our own lane while also contributing towards our team teammates with our ult. Should be 1733, right? After this, 1733. Be close to it. We'll push one more wave, get level 10, and then we'll reset TP. Slow push makes sense, but he said freeze it. He probably implied slow push into a freeze. Yeah, that's what I meant to imply. Actually, yes, 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 yes. To clear up any confusion, that, that is what I meant. I wanted to slow push the wave towards me by pulling it and then freeze that. I TP it on the cannon wave. If you TP on the cannon minion, it makes it so that the wave slow pushes towards you. 
That's what I'm doing. I'm playing all about the wave right now. I need to carve my name in their skulls. Everyone pays. The way that I barreled there was to predict his flash, but he was CC, so it didn't matter. But now I have six rubs. Now I have six rubs, and I get to I get to hit this tower, and he has no TP. So this is heaven. Because of how we were playing the lane, by the way, it's Trinity Force to just call field. What's the state of GP right now? I haven't played in a while. Olaf, thank you for the prime, first of all. Thank you for the uh, prime four months in a row. State of Gangplank right now, he's going to be very powerful next patch. And when I say very powerful, I mean relative to his current state. His current state, I would say, if you're rating it on a scale where S tier is the best and then you have like D tier, like B tier, A tier, and all that stuff, I would say he's currently B tier, but next patch will be A tier. The reason for that is because of the changes that he's receiving where his slow currently, that was a really bad game control. He is currently scaling uh, his barrel off of crit chance, so I have 45% slow right now. However, next patch, you'll have an 80% slow regardless of your crit chance at level 13. You learn wave management by yourself? No. I, I, I unironically learned a lot of it through LS and through watching other players. Actually. Oh my gosh, I was almost minus one. Perfect. Shut down. Absolutely perfect. Whether I out. Is LS still stream? I haven't looked at him in a while. He does still stream. Well, he hasn't streamed recently. I think he's probably just doing IRL shit, honestly. Wait, he, he spawned Void Grubs. And those Void Grubs hit the tower, so he just split the gold with me. Nah, but my youngler. Nice. I wanted Tristana to get it over Aatrox. Aatrox getting it is a situation. Tristana getting it, meh, it's fine. It's not the worst thing in the world. I did greed for the wave. I could have just left after the wave. That's what I should have done. But we're chilling. Alright, so. I'm two levels up on Aatrox just about, which is very, very, very good for my game. It gets me closer to level 13. And I'm going to buy a Lethality item. Now, I have options. I'm only one level up on Aatrox. I can either buy Yomu's or I can buy Opportunity. If I buy Opportunity, I get more damage... But I'm still playing against a lot of ranged characters. If I buy Yomu's, however, then I'm able to close that gap while also getting a lot of movement speed to rotate around the map. If I need to go to Dragon, need to go to Mid, need to go to Top, clear Jungle Camps, whatever it is, Yomu's is going to allow me to get it done. Even walking back to lane as I am now, it's very, very good. This is All right, we are chilling. We are vibing. Oh, fix this. Fix this real quick. All right, we're chilling. I've got my old top. Crying won't do me good. Yeah, this Yomu's is going to be very, very, very big spike for us. And again, I'm going Yomu's because they're all very, very squishy. I don't care about Alistar because my barrels aren't meant to hit Alistar. Um building for the rest of his team and all of them have zero armor Hate is a child's word. i actually think i actually think i'm fine here oh you see aatrox i'm gonna keep pushing top you see how aatrox is mid lane right now he's like reaping <laughs> I'm gonna ult defensively. Look, 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 look how I ulted, by the way. Look how I ulted. They're all cut off right there. Nobody can help Alistar, so he's, he's forced to burn his flash. And now we're collapsing on them, and I'm creating a win-win scenario. 
instead of just TPing to the fight and guaranteeing winning the team fight, I care more about this top tower and exposing their inhib. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna push one more top wave. Right, I'm gonna push one more top wave, and now I'm actually just gonna TP bot. I should have TP mid. I'll be honest with you. This is actually a mistake by me. I should have just TP mid. Because if I TP mid and we win that fight, now I get to take mid tower, maybe even two towers. I greeted though, because I want this 700 gold turret, which will give me my last item, which is opportunity. My next item, rather. So, very greedy play by me with my teleport. Everything besides that was perfect. But I'm saying, why didn't you take the inhib? It's 60 minutes into the game. It won't get us anything. Baron's not for another three inhibs. Go down for five minutes. So it'd only be a minute, 30 seconds max where I can actually utilize a uh, broken inhibitor. Not worth it. All right, now we're going to reset. My plan worked and I did get opportunity. So look at that. I played, yeah, I literally played for myself, and now I have opportunity. I've got my Yomus. I one-shot them, and now I'm going to group. I could keep side laning, and there's nothing wrong with side laning. However, I know that the game can and will end off of two picks, and I can make those two picks happen. Their champions are very squishy. I'll get it done. I will get stuff done. That's their most fed member, by the way. That's their most fed member that I just did all that damage to. And now we're going to get a free mid tower off of it. There's two top lane. We barrel her again. 800 damage, by the way. That, that, that's literally 855 damage. I don't need a crit. I don't need anything. That's guaranteed, and nobody can take that away. Nobody can take that away from me. Look, another Q, 438. Oh, shit, that bomb did 800 damage. <laughs> okay, that's a little scary. I'm gonna go run top lane now. Yasuo gets bot tower. This is macro. This is how you play macro, by the way. I took every single turret top. I took bot tier 2. I helped took I took mid tower. I took this other mid tower. And now the enemy team has triple open in him. So their game is super hard to play. I'm going to sit on a 15% crit chance right now. Crit cloak. And the reason why I'm going to sit on that is because I'm just going to build towards collector now into infinity edge. I think against this team comp, that's the next strongest items to purchase. I don't need Mortal Reminder, I don't need LDR, I don't need Randuins, I don't need any of that crap. What I need is more damage. That's what I'm going to be building for. Now, I recognize that right now, you know, there's a dragon that the enemy team is going to get. They're going to get a little bit of an objective bounty. But I'm setting up waves. That way we're in a good position once Baron spawns. Look at that. That's a beautiful ult. That's a beautiful ult. I see three people mid lane. They're all very low HP. I'm just going to play for triple in him. I'm going to save my Yomus. Yep, we're, we're forcing Tristana to jump forward if she wants to proc that bomb. You see that? We're forcing a winning scenario no matter what decision we choose. Every decision that we make this game, and we made this game, has been a win-win scenario. This is how you can win games without allowing your teammates to throw. My teammates, even if they wanted to throw, I didn't let them. And that's how you're supposed to play League. Assuming that your teammates are always going to be throwing. 1-1 one, one obviously got carried. True! But yeah, just like that.